Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Capricorn from March 1st through the 15th, 2020. Um, I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. All right, subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. And to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So this reading is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started. I will say, um, you know, I am using the Voyager Tarot and the Astra Poker Face Playing Deck and the Angel Tarot. Now I'm using the Voyager Tarot because we are all on journey, right? Um, I'm using the Poker Face deck because I felt like somebody was not showing their true self. And I'm using the Angel Tarot because I believe that our angels are around us to help get us through this Mercury retrograde. Well, it's kind of kind of nutty right now, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, this is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Um, I am playing the 80s tunes right now. Um, I woke up this morning again, felt like 80s again. Yesterday was 80s R&B. Today is 80s, like, new wave type, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is my last reading of the night. So tomorrow's readings may have the same um, feeling or they might have a different feeling. Who knows? It depends on how I wake up and how I feel that day. So <clears throat> this is my last reading for tonight. Tomorrow will continue. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, right? <clears throat> All right, so I have already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one more time just to get the energy of the reading, all right? Of course, I'm shuffling throughout the, the reading, but just for the general reading, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to grab the energy. So this is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. The general energy is time, space, all right, you guys? This is the 20 card, and the 20 card uh, for Major Arcana is actually judgment. So somebody's going through a rebirth. There's some sort of inner calling, some sort of absolution. Something is coming to a uh, realization for somebody, and they're making a judgment call on the situation. All right? <clears throat> So let's go ahead and find out what is going on for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. March 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Capricorn. I need to get three cards here. Three cards for Capricorn. All right, three cards. For, okay, so the next three cards are... Fear, Seven of Cups. So somebody is fearing something. Okay, there's options here, right? This is the, the Seven of Cups is options, right? But there's some sort of fear involving those options. Perhaps somebody um, mist mistook one of those options uh, as, uh, you know, somebody mistook something that wasn't an option as an option, right? That's maybe what I wanted to say. <laughs> So let's see what the next card is. Inventor, Man of Crystals. So this is like the King of Swords, right? And the King of Swords, you know, this type of energy is, um, <clears throat> this type of energy is like somebody who is intelligent, who, uh, you know, is a good boss, a good leader. You know, maybe that person at the at the shop that everybody, you know, has to listen to, ordering people around. Well, because they, you know, they know how to do it right, all right? So um, this, you could be holding this energy. Uh, you could actually have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with somebody like this. Okay, I do see the inventor word there. So you may be handy. You may be a pretty handy person. You can invent new things. You have new ideas. You know, all kinds of good stuff, right? <clears throat> all right. So let's find out what the next card is here. We have harmony, eight of wands. So uh, there's going to be a message coming in to you or you sending out a message to somebody. And it's re in regards to harmony. So maybe it's somebody that you don't get along with. Maybe you're going to want to come in and kind of make amends with them somehow. All right. That's what I'm feeling here. 
some sort of amends being made for Capricorn, okay? Um, I don't see you out here yet, but we'll see what comes out, right? So March 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Capricorn. What are our next three cards? All right, so the next cards I have, I have Devil's Play. All right. So, you guys, we do know this is the devil card, right? So there's some addictions going on here, and there's possibly some fears in regards to uh, options. Maybe somebody uh, is having the option of whether or not they need to go to rehab or something like that. I don't know. Uh, somebody does fear something, and it is in regards to this devil energy, all right? And a devil energy, we all know, is addictions, manipulation, um, just not very good stuff, right? Uh, let's see what the next card is. All right, we have the sun. <clears throat> so I do see mana crystals moving towards the sun. So you can actually be holding this energy of this mana crystals. All right, this could be you holding this energy, uh, wanting to send out a message or a message is coming into you, right? Uh, but you are fearing this, uh, this message, I think. It has to do with uh, toxic energies, right? And you may be wanting to bring... Uh, this sun energy, which is, you know, a positive, fun, warm, and successful person, possibly. You want to bring this person uh, a message. What is this message? Oh, shoot. Two of Wands. This is something that someone that you see in your future. All right? You may see them in your future, or they may see you in the future. All right? So this is somebody who possibly thinks you are a soulmate or something like that. Right? Um, but I do see whoever this a man of crystals is, this inventor, uh, is in your eyes right now. This could be you once again or the other person, right? Now, <clears throat> the judgment card, I will say, is um, that of fire, right? Judgment is a fire type of energy. Uh, Gemini, I'm sorry, uh, Leo... Aries, and Sagittarius. Okay, I almost forgot there for a second. Wow. All right. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and move on and see what the next three cards are for Capricorn. This is March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Now, I don't see any pentacle cards here. What's up, Capricorn? What's up with your money? What's up with you? What's up with your balance? What's up with your groundedness and your rooted, you know, stable energy? Where is it? Hmm. What are the next three cards for Capricorn for March 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Capricorn? The next three cards I have out are Setback, Five of Worlds. There's a there's finally some sort of pentacle energy, but you know what? There's been a setback. Why? Because of the devil's play, because of the manipulation, the addictions, the problems, the things that you're actually fearing right now. And this is causing you actually a setback. You're feeling um, <clears throat> left out in the cold. All right. Somebody has left you out in the cold for some reason. And it could be due to this devil energy. And I, it probably is. You know, no one likes that devil energy. So uh, we do have the hanged man here. Um, and somebody is um, taking a pause. Right. Somebody is maybe even surrendering to the universe, letting go. Um, and, and, you know, perceiving things differently than they used to, right? So somebody's going within to try to figure shit out, and this could be you, all right? Or it could be this man of crystals. You, you know what? <clears throat> you know what? If you are a female Capricorn watching this, you are dealing with a man of crystals, right? And you see this person as your sunshine, and this, but but you're you're kind of in limbo with this person, okay? If you are a female Capricorn. Now, if you're a male Capricorn, if you're a male Capricorn, um, you could be seeing uh, the Man of Crystals as your mate, okay? Because it could still be a female, right? Male or female energy doesn't matter, right? Somebody could be standing in their male energy power, you know, standing up for themselves. That's what that men do. They stand up for themselves. And they, you know, take take charge, right? So this could be that type of person, and it could be a male, or it could be a female, right? But this person, you, I guess you might see them as your sunshine, and you're kind of in limbo in regards to them, all right? So let's keep going. What's the next card? 
Um, oh, Ten of Wands, growth. You know, yeah, there's growth. Somebody sees you possibly as a burden, though. You know, somebody sees you as a burden or you see this person as a burden, right? Because, you know, you see them in your future. You want to send them a passionate message, right? Or they want to send that to you. They see you in their future. But it's kind of too much of a burden. Maybe, or maybe, you know, they think you're a burden. They wanted to do this with you or you wanted to do this with them. Take it how, how you will, right? <clears throat> but we do have Ten of Wands here. But you know what? As I'm looking at this picture, I see, you know, the word is growth there, right? Now, I do see here... I do see here that there's flowers growing, right? And I see a little baby hand reaching out for the flower. How cute. And then, I, okay, there's a praying mantis also on the baby's finger. How weird. I wonder why. That's That could have some significance here. Now, we also see um, trees growing. Just These trees have to be thousands and thousands of years old. I also see a hand that is withered and old like a like a, a mummy hand right so you know what in regards to this ten of wands this could be actually this could be actually soul growth and i'll tell you why this is coming to mind i don't know why i don't i have no idea why but i'm just gonna tell you guys right what's coming to my mind is is this a soul growth all right perhaps <clears throat> You've been going through something since childhood, since you were even a toddler, all right? Uh, you could have been living this these issues through the 80s. You could have been born in the late 70s, early 80s, dealing uh, with the 80s, and, you know, as a toddler or a young, you know, like a little kid, you know? And I see this little kid reaching for the flower, but there's a praying mantis there. Like, you know, praying mantis, they, they kind of sneak up on you, right? They watch you. They watch. They observe, right? So somebody has been observing you possibly since childhood. How weird, okay? And I do see that um, this could be involving some sort of past life stuff, right? Perhaps you've had to go through this burden time after time after time again in past lives. But I see growth here. I see these flowers blooming right? And I see these trees are strong. So you may be standing in your power right now. You may be having some growth, some soul growth, right? Not conscious, but subconscious, right? Where your soul is trying to lead you in the right direction in regards to what your future holds for you, right? And you're going to come up with some sort of epiphany or something like that. And it's going to come from passionate messages. Now, this could be you sending out the messages or the messages coming into you. All right. Wow. Really interesting. All right. This is really, really, really interesting. <clears throat> all right. So let's go to the Astra Poker Face cards. Let's see um, who has this poker face in regards to Capricorn's reading from March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Who's hiding their true self? Okay, that card jumped out. Somebody that's holding on to something, right? Uh, it would have gone here. So you're holding on to a fear, a, a sort of fear, all right? You're hanging on to a fear uh, that you need to definitely let go of. I'm going to put this back in the deck because <clears throat> it flipped out. So, <clears throat> excuse me, geez. There could be a fear of speaking up, all right, since I had that kind of, <clears throat> you know, going on there. So somebody might have a fear of speaking up in a certain uh, situation, right? This could be you or something, someone else. But let's see what the actual next card is that I'm going to pull or the next three cards. All right, we got this, the King of Swords again. There it is again. All right. So perhaps you're having the fear to speak to this King of Swords energy, somebody that you want to move forward with. All right. Look at that. King of Man of Crystals, King of Swords, same person, you guys. This is the same person. All right. Seems that uh, you want to be happy with this person around, right? Okay, that's what this song is. That's what I'm hearing from this song. Yeah, somebody, they, they want you to stand by them, and, and maybe you want them to stand by you. Who knows? Very interesting, right? <laughs> All right, it must be. So you're wanting to work something out with this um, person, this person holding this 
King of Swords energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, all right? Um, let's see what the next card is. Okay, Ace of Cups. You want this Ace of Cups. You want to bring a message into this person about emotional stability. Somebody who can tend to your emotions when you're happy, when you're sad, you know, whatever it is. Somebody who provides you with that emotional support. And well, that's always nice, right? So you're looking to do that with somebody, but you have some fear in regards to being left out in the cold because of this devil energy. So possibly you're being left out in the cold because of your addictions. Could that be it? Capricornia, if you have addictions to something, then most likely this did leave you out in the cold. Because not everybody wants to have addictions or be involved with people with addictions, right? <clears throat> So maybe this is what you fear. Maybe the, maybe you fear that you have to give up this addiction in order to move forward. Because you can't have devil's play energy when going into a relationship or being with somebody or friendship, job, whatever this is. Right? But you are wanting an emotional uh, new beginning with somebody. And you're going to come in passionately or they're going to come into you. However that resonates. Right? All right. So let's see what the next three cards are for... Uh, March 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. All right, so the next three cards we have out are... All right, we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, um, you want equal give and take in regards to this situation, but uh, it doesn't seem, because it's over the Devil's Play card it, doesn't, uh, card, it doesn't seem like there was give and take here, right? Equal give and take. Right? Maybe you were taking a lot to support this habit that you had. Right? And it, it involved being, you know, with this king of swords. Maybe uh, you were, maybe you were taking more than you were giving. Right? Let's see what's next. Yeah. This person is somebody from the past. And this, oh my good, goodness, this is the person that you see as your sunshine. How could you see somebody as your sunshine and be taking from them to, you know, you must have a really bad habit right now, Capricorn. You know, or you did in the past. I don't know. But it seems that you may have, I'm feeling like you may have taken something from this sun card energy, this this uh, king of, of swords, and you may have taken from them to support your habit. You know, I could say, you know, that's fucked up, this, that, and the other, but I'm not going to say that. Because addictions are really hard to kick, and I understand that. I've been through them myself several times. At several times of my life, I have been addicted to certain things, right? And, you know, not, not just toxic substances, but codependency and all kinds of stuff. And I know how hard that is to kick. And maybe that is your fear, and you're feeling left out in the cold because you don't know what to do about it, right? Well, maybe you need to ask for help, Capricorn. Maybe you need to ask someone for help. And, and you know, I, I do see you want to work on something with this King of Swords. This is a person from your past, you know, somebody that you had some emotional fulfillment with. Let's see what the next card is. Let's see what's... Okay, yeah. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> Look at that. Two of Wands over Two of Wands. You see this person in your future, Capricorn. You do. And they see you in their future. But, you know, what's what's holding you guys back is this devil's play energy, your addictions, all right? Um, well, now, this could be you or the other person, right? If you're a Capricorn watch, you don't have no addictions. This is your other person. But if you are the Capricorn watching, dealing with a King of Swords energy, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, you, you may have an addiction that you need to take care of in order to move forward in the situation, you know? Um, yeah, maybe you need to ask for some help on that, right? Because it's caused you to lie, cheat, and steal maybe from people to support your habit. And I know I, I know it sucks that you've done that, and, and, and maybe a lot of people are pissed off at you, but they don't realize how deeply you are in this addiction and that you maybe you need help, right? Because you now you feel left out in the cold. You maybe be at the might be at the bottom of the barrel right now. You know, uh, we don't realize things until we absolutely hit rock bottom and when we're alone and there's no one around to help us and we have to figure it out ourselves, you know. But there's always one or two people out there who's willing to help. So let's find out what the next three cards are for you. All right, we have the Ace of Swords, all right? So maybe you came into with a truth to somebody, right? But 
maybe it wasn't the truth, right? Because it actually puts you out in the cold. You know, maybe you just said something um, at the spur of the moment. You know how when people, you know, they don't know what to say, so just garbage flies out of their mouth, and, and then later on they regret it. This might be one of those situations. All right, let's see what the next card is. All right, Queen of Cups. All right, so you could be dealing with the Queen of Cups or or in the hangman mode in regards to this King of, uh, Queen of Cups, or you could be holding this energy. Even if you're a male watching this, you could be holding this Queen of Cups energy, all right? And you could be dealing with this um, uh, air sign, right? Or, you know, this air sign could also have um, some uh, Cups energy, Queen of Cups energy. Maybe this person is in both their male and female energy right now, right? That's a possibility, too. Okay, but, you know, we do have two people here. We have a King of Swords and we have a Queen of Cups. All right. You could have uh, water in your chart. You could have air in your chart. Right. I mean, those are all the possibilities I can see here. Right. But you're in the hangman mode right now in regards to a Queen of Cups energy. All right. This could be somebody from the past that you might be wanting to work something out with. All right. Or, ah, geez, maybe not. Because I do see that you want to work something out with uh, the King of Swords. Okay, so maybe you're going, you got something going on with the, the Queen of Cups. How about that? <clears throat> you got something going on with the Queen of Cups and you're in hangman mode because you cannot work on something with this person, this King of uh, Swords energy, person from the past. You cannot move forward because of the Queen of Cups. Okay, I see this. This is also somebody from your past, okay? All right. You see a future with the King of, of Swords, though. That's the thing. So, yeah, you might be involved with somebody who's in the, uh, the Queen of uh, Cups energy, but you want to move forward with the King of Swords. All right, well, let's see what's going on here. That's kind of trippy, right? All right, so we have the Nine of um, Wands. And that's right over the Ten of Wands, right? So Nine of Wands is like you're worried about something. You're worried about burdens, right? Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands over the Ten of Wands. You're worried about friggin' burdens, you know? Oh, is this going to work out? Are, are you going to be able to make this work? Whatever. Whatever's going on here. Uh, because you do want harmony with someone. You do want a new emotional beginning. And you and this person actually do see each other in your future, all right? So... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and find out what the next three cards are for Capricorn for March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Okay, so the next three cards we have out are... All right, so we have... Oh, this is the wrong deck, but look, I'm going to show you anyways because I should have been grabbing this deck. Look. There's going to be a message coming into you, Capricorn, or you're going to send out a message, right? Or a message has happened already. Somebody may have given you some harsh and direct communication. All right. That was an accidental pull. So I guess Spirit wanted me to show you one more. Okay. So I'm going to put this card back in the deck, and I am going to go to the Angel Tarot deck now. All right. And we're going to see what's going to happen next, right? All right, so we have this for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Whoa, what, it, what fell out? Look at that, you guys. This fell out. It's going back in the deck, but the luck card fell out, all right? This could be luck and money. You may, uh, something may happen which might give you a second chance to start over, all right? Because you may have been at the bottom of the barrel with this addiction and all these problems, but I do see that luck is on your side. So I'm going to put that back. We're going to keep going. Uh, March 1st through the 15th, 2020. This is for Capricorn, March 1st through the 15th, 2020. All right, so the first three cards out are Ace of Wands, new beginning, right? Maybe you fear this new beginning with this person. That's, yeah, but you are inspired, you know. You are inspired to do this, but you fear it. You know, you, you want to do it. You want to work on it. You want that new beginning, but you fear something. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of commitment, maybe, Capricorn? That could be it. Oh, excuse me. That could be it. You could be afraid of commitment, 
right? Or you could be afraid of having a new start with this person. You don't know how it's going to be like because maybe if you do get the rid of these addictions, are you going to feel the same way? Are they going to look at you the same way? Are you going to act the same way? I mean, who knows what the future brings? But you never know until you start, until you try. So I do see that you are going to come into this person or somebody's going to come into you uh, with some uh, information, a new start, fresh start. Want to work on this. You want to work on this? They want to work on this. All right? And there's going to be victory here, though, okay? We'll say that there's going to be victory in this situation. It's all up to you, Capricorn. Are you gonna Are you gonna make that move to maybe clean yourself up or get some help? Maybe this person is gonna help you. Who knows? We'll see. You do have the Eight of Pentacles, so you are working on something. And what you're working on is harmony with this person. You're working on how you can bring a message to this person. How you can tell them that you that this person uh, brings you emotional fulfillment. Right? You are dedicated to doing this, so you're working on yourself right now. And how you're going to come into this. And how you're going to word these things. What? How are you going to go about doing this, all right? I, you know, I do see, yeah, the addictions here is a very big problem. It could be more than just uh, 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 alcohol, drugs, or whatever. It could be sex addictions. It could be shopping, gambling, uh, watching porn, uh, hoarding, you know, playing video games. It could be a number of things. But... I do see that this, this devil's play here is affecting your life. And it's not affecting your life in a very positive way. It's already put you out in the cold. And Do you want to kind of stay in that energy or are you trying to get out of that? I, I, I think that was something that was in the near past. That you were left out in the cold, possibly homeless, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's next. Let's see what the next three cards are. This is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. The next three cards are. All right. So right now you are just spying on this person, right? Or somebody's spying on you. Yeah. Somebody is spying on you and, and how you're dealing with this situation. Or they were spying on you. Dealing about, about the situation and wanting a new, st you know, yeah. And there's a lot of gossip going around about you. People are gossiping about you. They're spying on you and they're gossiping about you. What's going on, Capricorn? What are you doing here? You know, they're doing all this stuff, this gossiping and whatnot, because of the devil's play energy. Maybe they're gossiping. Maybe you're doing something that's involved with this devil's play and they're gossiping about you. Maybe they're calling you names of... I don't know. Let's see. Look. Nine of Cups. Blessings. All right? So when it's in regards to this person, this this uh, air sign that you're dealing with, that you want a new beginning with, the person from the past that you see as your sunshine, I do see blessings coming in for that person. Maybe even for you with that person. I'm not sure yet, but I do see the Nine of Cups there. So either there will be truth coming in, and you'll actually get that uh, Nine of Cups energy, those blessings. Well, let's see what's next. Eight of Wands. All right. So yeah, you are definitely working on bringing in a message, right, to somebody. All right, or somebody's bringing in a message to you, and it's a message of a new journey, right? A new passionate start, uh, and and it's it's like a new adventure for you. That's what it's going to be. Let me see what's under there again. Uh, yeah. This Eight of Pentacles, under that on the first card, is the Eight of Wands, right? So you are trying to work on figuring out how to bring a message in of a new start of, of emotional new beginning, right? So this could be you wanting this to bring this in or somebody wanting to bring this message into you, all right? Take it how it resonates, however you feel, whatever, right? <clears throat> I do see... That there is someone here that actually has one more fight left, even after all the burdens that maybe you put them through or they put you through, right? But somebody is wanting to fight for whatever is going on here. All right, let's find out what the let's find out what the next uh, three cards are. Whoa, for Capricorn. Okay, look there she is again, the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Queen of Cups, or you could be holding this energy. This would have went here, but it's not going to. I'm going to put it back in the deck. So if it did go there, it seems that the Queen of Cups um, might be feeling left out in the cold due to some information that was received. Right? Let's put that back, and let's find out what's next, okay? 
March 1st to the 15th, 2020. March 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Capricorn. March 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Capricorn. March 1st to the 15th, 2020, Capricorn. All right, so the next few cards we have out are Three of Swords. Yeah, that's right. So uh, somebody here was in a three-party situation. There was a lot of heartache and, and, and you know, a lot of hurt here, a lot of fucked up energy. All right. Truth came out. And somebody just wanted to, you know, be three of swords status, you know, and, and I don't think that uh, the other person agreed with that. And that's why somebody is feeling left out in the cold. And so now all somebody can do is spy on someone. They wanted a new beginning, but how are you going to have a new beginning if you're going to put somebody in three party situations, right? Right. All right. Nine of swords. Stress. So... Queen of Cups is stressed out, all right? She's stressed out maybe about what happened. Maybe she's stressed about the, out about this message that's coming into her, about somebody wanting to do something with her and have this Nine of Cups energy, blessings, whatever. But this Queen of Cups is stressed. That's why she's in the hangman mode, because she can't decide on what's right and what's wrong. It's almost like... It's almost like uh, she she can't tell what's going on with the feelings here. She doesn't know. She's caught up in her head about what's going on. You can't, you know. <sighs> okay, this has to do with, you know, people sleeping together and all that stuff, you know. Maybe this person was sleeping with other people. You know, like this song, Let's Go to Bed. Maybe this person just came to you for only that, but... Now you want to come back as something different, or maybe you came to somebody as that, and, um, you know, basically they just want to sleep with you, or maybe they always thought that that's all you wanted with them. So so Queen of Cups is, is basically all up in her head about this, can't make a decision on what to do, right? Maybe uh, something was ended here, right? Because the Ace of Swords could be you coming in with the truth or somebody coming with, in with the truth, or it could mean that somebody here has cut or severed the relationship, right? Because maybe they didn't want the Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Cups energy is also addictions. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it says blessings. They're like, oh, yay, we're getting together. This is the honeymoon stage. It's all wonderful. This is blessings, right? But then the party has to end. The party doesn't go on forever, all right? And so what's happened is, <clears throat> you know, this person, this Queen of Cups possibly wants to have a, uh, you know, or or the King of uh, Swords, right? It could be one or the other, uh, wants to have uh, something more stable and secure. Not the Nine of Cups, but the Ten of Cups, right? Maybe that's what they want, right? So there's somebody is stressed out here. It could even be that the King of uh, Swords is stressed out, and the Queen of Cups is stressed out. So somebody needs to make, <laughs> it looks like there needs to be some decisions made here, Capricorn. If this is three-party situation, you could be dealing with a Li uh, Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius, or you could be, yeah, here's, here's more. This is more, um, or, or, or the Queen of King, uh, the King, the Queen, uh, I can't talk, you guys, the Queen of Cups. Right? It just fires a uh, water sign. So you could be dealing with these two signs. And, and water sign is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with those two. Maybe that's the three-party situation, right? Maybe you want this Nine of Cups, and you can't decide which one to choose. <laughs> My gosh, Capricorn. Right? And it could be based on these addictions you have. Maybe you have a sex addiction. And maybe that's why you do this, because you had all kinds of people already, and you found two that you really like, and you can't choose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Well, in regards to this situation right here, let me see. Who is this with again? Some message coming in. Um, yeah, you know what? It doesn't say who right here, but it's a big burden. A big burden that's keeping people up. And shoot, man, this could be everybody's feelings in this situation. Everybody could be all up in their head, knowing what they want, trying to work on this, trying to work on that, having one fight left. But I do see there's going to be success in this. Now something's going to come to an end. Maybe all this drama is finally going to come to an end. 
pretty soon here, right? Maybe somebody's going to fess up, you know, admit to their addictions, uh, clean themselves up, whatever this is. Somebody wants to work on something with somebody and they want to bring in a message passionately somewhere, okay? We don't know where exactly yet, but it's going to come in and, um, you know, possibly you're going to figure out or pick which, which person you want or I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I Right here, this is very, um, yeah. Okay, this is what's happening. <laughs> General energy, judgment. That's what's happening here, uh, Capricorn. You're going to make a judgment call on something. All right? You're going to bring something to an end. Or maybe somebody has already brought something to an end, and now it's time for you to start fresh out of this three, swords of, uh, three of swords energy, trying to start new, work on something, bring in passionate messages. What else is right here? Yeah, a new uh, emotional start with some someone. Someone who you brought big burden to, all right? So whoever you brought a lot of burdens to is the one that's possibly that you're going to move forward with. And now, yeah, if you brought burden to both of those people, oh my God, I don't know how you're going to figure that one out, all right? So <clears throat> let me go ahead and I'm going to get the Healing Oracle, the Healing Energy Oracle deck. This is my deck. Um, I am going to, we are going to find out from the universe... Um, you know, what message does the universe have for Capricorn for March 1st to through the 15th, 2020? That's what we're asking, right? Now, aside from asking the universe for you, I'm going to move these cards over. And I am going to ask the universe about the Cross Watcher, right? So I'm going to pull two cards also for the Cross Watcher. We're going to find out what's going on here. Maybe there's going to be some enlightenment on this whole situation, all right? So... This is for Capricorn, March 1st to the 15th, 2020. Uh, this is a message from God, Angel, Universe, Ancestors. Whoever it is, that's, you know, your spirit guides. What do they want you to know, Capricorn, uh, in regards to this reading? So the first card out is exercise, self-control. So, yeah, you have addictions here, obviously. The universe is saying, look, you need to start exercising self-control. Self do you really need these addictions? And, and how have these addictions been helping you through your life? It's time to make a change, right? Because I think what it is, is these addictions has, has caused all the problems that are that you are facing today. You could have been dealing with this kind of shit since the 80s, whatever. You know, this is something that's from way back that you're hanging on to. You may have been you know, addicted for a very long time to something. You know, I do know that, you know, hey, there's a lot of parents who have done drugs with their children and their children are, are drug addicts, heavy duty drug addicts today. All right. So if this is your case, then it looks like you're going to have to try and think about things because if you've been doing these things for that long, can you imagine how your health is declining from that? How you're, you're reducing your lifespan Think about that, Capricorn, okay? No, you know what's wrong. You know what's right. Make the right choice. Oh my gosh, you know, these are really these are really deep for you, Capricorn. You know what is wrong and you know what's right. Make the right choice. Maybe you you knew you know that, but you keep making the wrong choice. Is it because you're not following your intuition? What's going on here? What's holding you back? from walking in the straight and narrow, right? What is wrong with that? Maybe um, you are portraying something like a bad boy or something, and that's really not who you are, but you're portraying that because people like you that way. Well, you know what? Who cares what people like? It's all about what you like, right? You shouldn't give a shit what anybody thinks um, in regards to you. And if you have to act fake to have friends, those are not your friends anyways. You know, you, be yourself. It's time for you to be yourself. It's time to grow up, really. It's time to grow out of this stage of three parties and fooling around with everybody and doing the drugs. You know, we all outgrow shit. Don't you think it's time for you to outgrow that? And if you do have a problem, I would suggest you that you seek help. And if you don't know where to get it, maybe one of these... These friends who think you're so wonderful will help you. And if you don't think they will because they're all drug addicts and, and sex addicts and whatever addicts too, you got to find somebody who, who you know will help you, who's not all fucked up like all the people around you, right? So 
You know, it's not a bad message from the universe. It's really not. The universe is saying, get some help. Get some help, okay? Because whatever addictions you have right now, it's causing you to make the wrong choices. You need to exercise self-control. Control yourself. You know, what it is is you need to get, you need to separate yourself from all these drug addicts or all these people who have addictions and, and, and start moving towards people who are more, you know, in tune with themselves, who are wanting to have, uh, who have goals or who are excelling in their lives. Because if you stay in this energy, this devil's play energy, uh, who knows what, what can happen to you? You know, you could be hurting yourself really badly right now. And, and, and that would suck. You know, you need to heal whatever it is that's going on inside you because it's killing you, Capricorn. Whatever these addictions are, it's not doing good for you, all right? And you need to make judgment on these people who are around you. And you need to figure out who your real friends are, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and find out what we have for the cross watcher, whoever's watching this video for Capricorn because they're curious about what's going on in Capricorn's life. Let's find out what the universe has to say with God, angels, universe, ancestors, spirit, whoever it is uh, that you believe in or look up to, cross watcher. This is what they want you to know, okay? So the next two cards out are, well, the first one is anyways, Fall in love every day, even if it's only with yourself. So maybe you're having issues with love, cross watcher, okay? Maybe maybe you fall in love e easily, all right? And, you know, what the universe is saying here is you need to start falling in love with yourself now. Maybe you've been falling in love with all the wrong people. Why? Because maybe you don't love yourself 100% right now. All right. Maybe you don't see when you look in the mirror, maybe you don't see the love that maybe others might see others that you have possibly uh, you can call them um, missed opportunities. Right. Because you didn't love yourself. So maybe when somebody did love you, you took it a weird way. and You didn't. Uh, I don't know. You know, but the universe is asking you to love yourself. Fall in love every day, even if it's only with yourself. All right. Stop falling in love with the wrong people, possibly. Start, stop getting in. You know, you may have even uh, been involved in some addictions uh, because you 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 love somebody or, or something like that. And and you know what? I do see that here now. You may ah, epiphany, you guys, for the cross watcher. Yay. Bravo, cross watcher. Right. This is what's happening. All right. What you've been doing is you've been getting involved with in certain uh, relationships, right? And all of them have had some sort of addictions to them, all right? Everybody that you have been involved with has had some sort of addiction, right? And so what you do is you go along with their addictions and you accept them. But no, 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 no. If you don't do these things, you don't do drugs, you don't do whatever, but you find someone you like and they do drugs and... You, they're not for you. They're not for you. You need to find somebody that's like you, clean, free of drugs, free of addictions, or, you know, at least, you know, the harsh things, because you work on the other addictions together on, on, on fixing that. You can do that, right? But when it comes to drugs, alcohol, taking pills, sex addictions, or anything like that, uh, Crosswatcher, I don't think that's you. I really don't. And, and that's why I'm feeling this epiphany right here is that whoever you do find and, and you, you, you feel you have a connection with them, they all have some kind of problem, okay? And you think maybe you can fix them, but you know what? You can't fix anyone, Cross Watcher. The only person that you can fix is yourself. And if you see that somebody has an issue, don't try and stay behind and help them because what you're doing is you're actually hindering your progress and growth in your own life. So it's, it's kind of time to move on, right? Move on from, you know, if you're watching Capricorn because you love them and they have an addiction and, and they come to you and they, they put this addiction in your face and you're doing it with them. Do you think that's the right thing? I don't, I don't think so. So Capricorn has a problem. Capricorn has addictions. And I, I would suggest that you just step away and stay away from that because it's just not for your, your highest of good. And I know it may suck and you do want to help this person, but... This person's not going to 
uh, do anything until they realize themselves that they want to heal themselves, okay? All right, let's see what the next card is. All right, laughing at others' pains shows lack of compassion, okay, asshole? So if you're laughing at all this, you think it's all funny. You know, this, this is not for every cross watcher. You know, some of them are good, some of them are bad, whatever. You could have be, this could be your friend that you're watching for. But there are other sneaky individuals watching this and laughing at it, laughing at Capricorn's sorrow. You know what? All I have to say is fuck you. Okay, number one. All right. And um, I can guarantee you that spirit is going to do something fucked up in your life and people are going to be laughing at you. You get what you get. Whatever energy you put out, you're going to get it back. Laughing at others' pains shows lack of compassion. <laughs> Wait for it because it's coming. Your karma is definitely coming. So we have some cross watchers who are watching for Capricorn who are nice. And we have some motherfuckers that are watching for Capricorn. Fuck you, right? Good. Fuck you. All right? <laughs> Good ones. Nice ones. You know, caring ones. And fucked up fuck you ones, right? <laughs> All right. So that was for Capricorn. And um, that was for March 1st through the 15th, 2020. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. Let these videos get out there because we want everybody to see them, especially the cross watchers, don't we? <laughs> Anyways, you guys. All right. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I will definitely see you guys next time. Bye.